welcome to my channel. Today is self care Sunday and we're gonna do a skin care get ready with me thing today. First Sunday of every month I set aside one hour to do kind of like a beauty regimen. It's just a little upkeep like whitening my teeth since I smoke and drink coffee and it's an insecurity of mine. Uh, first things first deodorant. Also thanks to my wonderful periods I get like really good zits like one really good deep zit and I have to maintain it I use the the zit patches I use the creams but I also use glycolic acid what does that say resurfacing pads um I use this twice a week because glycolic acid is an extreme exfoliant and if you use it more than that you can develop sun sensitivity, and since I already have PMLE, no thank you. And it can be bad for your skin if you use it more than twice a week. I do try to limit it to once a week, but when it's really bad, I do it twice. I've already used this because I got out of the shower and I needed moisture on my face. Um, I also get a mustache, which would be cool if it grew in like fully, but no, I get like two really hard black hairs that are annoying and then peach fuzz that messes up my makeup. So first things first let's get rid of that peach fuzz and the two black hairs. Oh wrong wrong size stick. So while I'm doing all this let's have a chat. I am going to wipe my teeth so I will have to stop talking at some point but until that's the last step so until that point let's chat. Okay that's not too hot good. Specific how how do I not do that okay specifically in my mouth. No talking during this because it went in my mouth. Okay, I think we're good. So I did not eat all of my calories yesterday. I got 1000 calories with 41 grams of protein. So I didn't even get the recommended, please at least get this amount of protein. For me is 60 grams ish. I get like moisturizer for the hair. That is because I was seasick. It wasn't anything to do about calories, trying to lose weight. I wasn't freaking out about the scale. As you can see, the scale actually went down today and I mean, 400 calories is not going to make that difference. It's just literally because I was on my period. I knew it and I didn't freak out. I didn't fast. I was seasick. So there were a lot of boats out yesterday. So when boats pass you, their waves are different than the sea's waves. It's very woom, woom. And you don't get a natural rhythm for it because it's a, it's an unnatural thing passing by you. So I am ex-Navy. I was in the Navy and I did not experience seasickness, but I was also on an aircraft carrier. I think I put way too much moisturizer in my hair right now. I wasn't thinking. I usually count the spritzes. And yesterday, because there were so many boats out passing us by, I couldn't handle it. And then we also had trouble pulling into our slip because the engine died. I like looking at how much hair got pulled out. Not enough, so round two. It usually takes me two rounds anyway. And honestly, that might have to do with the fact that um, it's getting like all the, the build up off and then the second round is like, we're, we're gripping on there. Okay, see if I had a mustache, it would look cool. I just can't grow one fully. Anyway, uh, da -da 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 -da. the nerves combined with the seasickness, I just couldn't eat dinner. I was planning on a shrimp taco because usually I enjoy seafood after sailing, but there was absolutely no, there just nothing sounded good. I couldn't do it. Uh, so after moisturizing the hair and brushing it with a wet brush, I use a hair serum on the ends. This is how I keep the breakage from happening. Coloring your hair, bleaching your hair, it all dries it out. So if I want to try and grow out these luxurious locks, I have to moisturize them and keep the breakage minimal. But yeah, did you guys know coloring, like putting color deposit in your hair still dries it out. So you guys have to be making sure you're putting a hair mask in after putting color in. And then obviously bleach is just like stripping it of everything. All right, that was a lot of hair. And I don't know how, it's very red. Smooth as baby skin. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So now that I have taken off my wax mustache, I do want to talk to you guys about something very important. And it is related to me not eating my calories. Some of you guys may know, I have discussed this previously. I did get diagnosed with a restrictive eating disorder 
and I had to be hospitalized when I was in my 20s. I do consider myself recovered from it. I am eating with nutrition in mind. I'm mindfully eating. I want it to be nutritious and delicious and have a balance. I did not skip dinner for any reason other than I was too sick to eat. <laughs> I also want to let you guys know that I will not say words that could be considered a diagnosis unless I have been diagnosed. So I can't inform you guys about binge eating disorder. I've never had it. I don't know what it's like. When I say I emotionally eat, it is because doctors have told me that I emotionally eat. <laughs> Full transparency, I also have been told by like three different professionals that I may have borderline personality disorder. I don't think I do. One, it's very hard to diagnose. And two, during the time that I was told that, I was getting very gaslit to the point that I had to question if I had memory issues. So it was, it was very um, messing up my brain and there is a possibility that I do have borderline personality disorder, but I don't think I do. But that, those are the two. This is a reminder. Self-care Sunday. What was I saying? Um, yeah, if I'm using words, diagnosis, saying something, know that I am thinking about it mindfully. Like I am purposefully using that word. I did accidentally say hoarding once because I do have a tendency to hold on to things and I shouldn't have used that word. And I have been meaning to correct myself on that. So, but words and diagnoses, diagnoses, it's very important to use them correctly as an influencer. It's very important to use them correctly because if you self-diagnose and you're telling people you have a certain thing and it's not true or it needs like a subsection, like you can have an ED, but what section is it under? And even restrictive eating disorders or overeating disorders have their own subsection, subsection, subsection. So really, important for me to use the correct words because people will watch and then they'll be like oh I have this too maybe I have this and rather than going to see a doctor to get help they'll use it maybe try and work on themselves thinking they have this because because you as an undiagnosed person said you had this and they're seeing the same symptoms and you got it wrong so now they got it wrong etc 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 just really trying to be mindful about calling someone something or diagnosing yourself. Like, um, I have issues with my mother and I 100% know I was gaslit because I explained the behavior and the therapist said, yes, that is gaslighting. Now, I won't say that she was a narcissist. I have my suspicions, but I won't say it because she wasn't diagnosed with it. And I can't go to a doctor and be like, hey, this person did this and then diagnose them from secondhand stories. So it is what it is. Okay, so I use my glycolic acid. Remember, twice a week at most. Once a week is best, I think. And this is, um, this is great for acne for me, for me. And also it keeps my skin looking fresh and young. I am almost 40. In November, I will be 40. Also, my camera does have like an automatic filter that I haven't messed with. So don't think that this is unfiltered. I like, I like the minimal filter it has and I'm keeping it. So next I am using niacinamide serum. It's another youthful, keep them young and fresh serum. I think that's how the TikTokers do it. I'm going to do a live. big old smear. Make sure you get that neck. Uh, also, if you have jowls, guess what? You're gonna have them. Uh, it happens when you're older. These things are just gonna continue to get looser. The only way to fix it is surgery. And even surgeons don't like doing those because they're tricky. They're hard to deal with. So just uh, get used to the idea that this will not be firm and tight forever. Oh shit. See, okay, I forgot to do something. So this Dead Sea mask. So. <laughs> I like doing it on a clean, fresh face and I forgot and I used some of my serums. That's fine. We're just gonna use our hands because I can't um, find the applicator, which the applicator is just a rubber bit that I have to wash anyway and I can just wash my hands, so it's fine. Anyway, 
let's see here. So we've talked about jowls, disorders, using the correct words, uh, and how important it is if you're speaking on a platform to use the correct words because diagnoses are serious situations that have specific treatments and all that jazz. Sorry, I am looking in my, usually I try to make eye contact, but I am looking at my screen so that I can see what I'm doing. So you're gonna see me looking sideways for a little bit here. Okay, so, ah, uh, gonna have to reapply that dang serum and I don't like wasting any, I like it was like five drops, Michelle, chill. Anyway, is there anything else to discuss? I don't think there really is anything else I need to say. I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that there was a reason why I didn't get my, my calories in. Um, I did want to discuss the scale and that I am not concerned about it. The progress picks are probably going to be my best bet at this point because I'm working out. Um, and I don't mean to say uh, you can out-exercise a bad diet. I'm saying I think I'm doing a pretty good job on my diet and I'm exercising, therefore I might be building muscle. Also, I understand plateaus be happening and they're going to last as long as they last and you can readjust and double check, but they still will last as long as they're going to last. Also, I think I should mention um, the pulling into the slip dibuckle, dibuckle, yeah, word, is that word? Uh, it did not scare me. Steven was going very slow. Um, I had a fender. I just made sure our boat parts didn't touch other people's boat parts. Caught a slip so I could stabilize the boat, make sure it wasn't moving. Then I got off, pushed it away from everything. Steven popped that sucker in reverse, restarted it, and I had to run from, it was a very long way, I had to run, and I'm not a runner. Uh, so I had to run all around, and then, it seemed like a very long time while I was running, though, but um, had to run around, and then I caught the boat. No big deal. As long as we're going slow, it, it, it doesn't matter, and I, I mean, I think we did go a little too slow because the engine died, but also we're insured, and as long as no damage is done, that is the only thing I'm concerned about. All right, so these are little iPads. Put those on. They say for 20 minutes, but I'm gonna leave these on while I am whitening my teeth, which is 30 minutes. So an extra 10 minutes isn't gonna hurt anyone. So let me tell you a little bit about my whitening process. First, you have to brush your teeth. Novelty idea, I know. Then they come with one of these little pens and you click, 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 and then you go T T T T T T T T. And then you put this sucker in your mouth, plug it into your phone, and these have multiple different ones, so you can you, you don't have to have an Android. Plug it into your phone. Ah, 30 minutes. Since I can't talk while I am doing this, I'm gonna say I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, so sorry. <laughs> uh, if you guys don't have a black makeup rag or cloth for removing the makeup. Get yourselves one, it will save your towels. They come in packets of like three for like five bucks. Oh, Dollar Tree has them. So yeah, black makeup rag. We're just we're just throwing out all the tips today. I'm a, I'm a beauty guru now. No. So let's take, let's take an up close look at my teeth. I should have shown them before. Can you see? It comes with this thing, so. No. Yeah. I'm out of two. That's as much as I'm going to get with this. So it is good. It is, it is what it wants to be. What I want it to be. Do I seem a little sporadic today? I might be a little sporadic today. That's just the energy levels I have for today. So enjoy. Okay. Take two on the Naya Minicide. Uh, also, just so you guys know, you can ruin your face. You can, you can seriously ruin your face by doing too many products. I, highly recommend that you keep it as simple as possible, honestly. If you can talk to a dermatologist, I would recommend that. In my experience, most dermatologists will say, keep it simple. You do not want to overload your skin with a whole bunch of products. And yeah, I get zits. I get really bad zits. They're, they're mostly hormonal zits. There's nothing you can do about that. So pimple patch it, use some, some healing cream, call it a day. Honestly, um, Neosporin. Neosporin is, is my go-to for healing a zit after I get the juices out. But yeah, neo, Neosporin. Speaking of healing, I did show you guys lotionizing because lotion and hydrating with water 
is the best natural way to, to help with loose skin and stretch marks. I also use skin oil, scars, stretch marks, uneven skin tone, age, and dehydrated skin. It's, it's not a miracle thing. It just helps. And I think maybe I'm going to say in this video, and I, I use it on my tummy because that's where most of that be happening. I think maybe I need to title this video, be careful what you're putting out there. Like maybe this is a message to my friends with a platform that we just need to be a little mindful about, you know, setting unrealistic beauty standards. Like oil isn't going to fix stretch marks and scars completely. That is a surgery thing, but water and oil may help and it will take years and years and years. Like not just one year, it will take years and years and years and years and years. You're not going to see an immediate difference. You, you just like weight loss, you're going to have to be patient and consistent, which sucks for me because I'm not a patient person. All this stuff I'm showing you guys is stuff I am just doing for maintenance. It is not a cure for anything. We don't want to set unrealistic beauty expectations. We don't want to misdiagnose ourselves. I think this video is for my influencer friends and I'm not an influencer, but speaking out there, putting words out there, it may influence someone. You want to give your skin a little bit of time to absorb all the stuff you just did to it. So I'm going to put some stuff away while it's absorbing. Okie dokie. Been a couple minutes. So I use, if I get out of the frame will it work? There it is. Hero Clear Collective? No, Collective. Clarifying Prebiotic Moisture. I don't, I didn't know it was prebiotic, but on the skin? Someone, someone with skin knowledge is going to have to, to tell me about that. Uh, but I do, I do think it is a great daily moisturizer. It sits on the face nice. It doesn't get oily. Not greasy. Lightweight. Oh no, I put too much on. Okay. So we're going to use the excess because I was talking and didn't pay attention. Usually it's just a little, little dab. I like slathered my hands in it. But we'll use this for my neck because you do want to moisturize your neck. And, you know, I did just moisturize a whole bunch of stuff. But that's fine. Anyway. Since we're talking about my mom in this video, and I usually do steer clear because I don't want to drum up drama. I don't think she even knows I have a video. We haven't talked in years, but she did give me good genes. She is Swedish and Germanic, German descent. Woman is, has, always will be gorgeous. Like seriously, she, got mistaken for Michelle Pfeiffer, Uma Thurman. As she aged, the, the features changed a little bit and she got mistaken for a few different people during that time. But always very objectively attractive women superstars. So she is gorgeous. Personality sucks though. Sorry. Am I? No. Like I was homeless at 12 and not because my family couldn't afford a home. So I think I think I have some shit to say, but I won't. I'm feeling a little spicy today, I think. Okay, so for my eyes today, I'm going to use, is it just like um, beauty influencers, they get a little spicy? I think, I think that might be it. I might be adopting a beauty influencer persona today. So please excuse it for today. I need to see though. Okay, there it is. This is the eye cream I use. Just a little dab underneath the eyes. Now, this is usually my nighttime cream in the summer because retinol you have to be careful with in the sun and actually has adverse effects in the sun. It's a little too much. I'm not gonna be going out in the sun today so I can wear it during the day. Normally, during the day, snail eye repair cream. It just doesn't have any products in it that will be adverse in the sun. So I do like to moisturize twice a day under my eyes. So if, I'm, if it's a sunny day and I'm going out, snail cream in the morning, Retinol eye cream around 6 p.m. Washington only has like three months of sun, so normally reverse that. Okay, that's my beauty routine. Uh, I'm still not feeling very hungry, so I think this morning we'll have a lot of carbs. And that's unfortunate because I didn't have a lot of protein yesterday, but um, even though I'm doing mindful eating and I'm really trying to make sure that my body has the essential building blocks to function, which is made from protein, I also feel like shit still. I feel a little crappy from seasickness still. So it's gonna be like a carb heavy, just to kind of see if it can help my stomach a bit, which I have white sweet potatoes and sea salt and vinegar, which is definitely 
a stomach helper in, in that regard. So yeah, off to breakfast. So let's get this going. Okay, so I just like burnt my hand a bit. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my energy is very off balance today. And I think it is because I was unusually calm during something I would normally freak out about, which was the boat motor dying at kind of a pivotal point where like lots of things to crash into. And I don't know if any of you guys experienced this, but like at a crucial point, you get very calm and then your nerves freak out later. Again, I, I am not worried about getting back on the boat. I'm feeling fine about it but I can tell that my energy is very off kilter. Um, I'm also speaking about things that I normally wouldn't, but I'm gonna leave it in because I think they're important things to address. You get a little bit of my history, so I'm not just a talking head to you guys preaching information all the time. Let's try this sweet potato with the vinegar salt. I was worried about putting it on before cooking it because I didn't know if it would burn, but also I put garlic salt when I'm cooking the sweet potato, so I feel it's fine. It's so good. It's so good. A bag of chips that does not fill you up. It could be like 700 calories, and we're talking like not a big bag, just like normal bag. 700 calories. This is 200. So I do suggest you guys experiment with your food. Try to find alternatives. My hand hurts. So I'm gonna eat this. Sorry for being a little extra today. I, I think it's my nerves hitting me weird, like a delayed response. Mm -hmm.